Roscoe looks very jealous that the dog is getting treats. So how nice. The party favors from yesterday were for the pupsters. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we go Black Friday shopping, you'll be alerted to it and Joe will be woken up. <laughs> it is Black Friday, Balls. November 26th, day 25 of the road back. And I don't know about you, but I am going to need the recovery day that we have today. Oh my gosh. I feel like, honestly, I stepped away from the table just now. Like, I'm that full still. I, I'm i not, like, full anymore, but I'm not hungry. Does that make sense at all? I feel like I want to be far away. Like, I see over there something so beautiful. Look at that beautiful prime rib roast. Wow. This is not for today. I have... Put some salt on it for a salt brine. So people have asked me, how do you salt brine your meat? Get some Redmond kosher salt, or you can even get the coarser salt if you want, which I need to get some. I just don't have any more of the kosher, the coarse salt. That's the stuff you would put in a grinder. Right. So I'm using the kosher salt. You're going to cover the whole thing. Don't worry. You can wipe some of it off when you're ready to cook. Cover the entire thing. You stick it on a cookie cooling rack over another rack so that you get air underneath it. You're gonna put this in your refrigerator for several hours up to two days. What's gonna happen is that salt is gonna do like the perfect dry age on this steak or in this roast. It's going to tenderize it. It's going to make it like just absolutely delicious. The other thing I want to try at some point, I was watching a video. People have done this with butter, but I want to do it with tallow. You take tallow, which we're going to be making our own right. tallow. You infuse it with herbs like sage and wow. rosemary and all that. Then this is going to completely gross you out. You take your prime rib roast. Okay. But the problem is you're taking a $75 piece of meat. Now we got this, this we caught, we paid 40 bucks for this. Because it was $60 and then there was $20 off the package any roast at Sam's Club. So I bought three. I bought the three smallest roasts they had. I like how you think. To save 20 bucks. And it was funny. I was watching people buy $100 ones to save 20 bucks. I'm like, buy two of the $50 ones and like then save $40. 40. So anyway, what you do is then you take this beautiful roast and you dip it. In melted tallow and pull it out. It's got to be really cold. And then it gets a hard brass garment. Then you do it again. So you have a layer of tallow like this all the way around. You put it in your refrigerator and you let it sit for 60 days. Okay. All right. 60 days. Now I see why you But it's like dry out. aging it. And it is supposed to give you... The most tender roast, like you could cut your prime rib with a fork. Wow. And Are I you really do that? I not with this one. But I really would like to try that. I just have to be willing to risk a $50 roast. Which would you be I'm willing not. to risk a roast? Maybe we should do it with like just one of those, you know, top ends or something That's like that. That's what I would do. And then if it works. Just see if it works. And then we can do it with a prime rib or with, you know, a sirloin roast or something like that. Thank you for Fancy Pants Coffee, though, because that is a Black Friday tradition. One tablespoon of butter and one scoop of... This is pumpkin. Pumpkin spice keto chow. It's 
freaking delicious and it makes me feel like this morning is an event and so i've got flip jr you've got flip jr there with filled us. up with coffee already so like we we're gonna take it on the road but i love to have a coffee in one hand and a shopping paper in the other well we don't have the shopping paper because anthony decided to burn them all we yesterday. had a uh bonfire not a bonfire but like a, a fire pit fire a fire pit fire so yeah it, it's always been our tradition to go black friday shopping and i'm so glad that the stores like target and them have stepped up this year it's and said seven though we are not opening on you know on on thanksgiving You're the so fact late. that they allowed their families to be home that that is awesome but normally we're up super early but we got home late we had such a good time yesterday but one of our traditions was always starbucks Right? Yeah. We would go. That was the we'd day We'd be at get Target. It. We'd get and we'd get the fancy Starbucks. Rachel would get a nice hot drink. I always got like one of the nice big frappuccinos. And since we're not doing that, we're gonna make our own fancy coffee with keto chow. Well, and it's, and delicious. it's delicious. So it's one scoop between the two of us. Back to Thanksgiving. We didn't eat a lot of stuff yesterday, and we certainly didn't eat a lot like that wasn't just meat. We had I had a little bit of stuffing, which is a lot of meat in it. Right. And then I did have a couple of those keto chow drop biscuits, which have almond flour in them. Yes. And then we had a good fair share of cranberry sauce. I ate, I'm going to tell you right now, I probably ate four or five drop biscuits. And, and everything was covered with cranberry sauce. Everything on my plate. My turkey, my um, pork belly. It was all covered in that cranberry sauce. So yeah, it was delicious. So nothing but wrong with it. it. But that cranberry sauce is made with allulose. Yeah. And we probably consumed more than we're used to. Because allulose itself doesn't affect us. But we consumed a lot of it yesterday. Which can lead to some gastric distress. Does that mean we're never having allulose? No. Allulose is my favorite sweetener. But we did have a lot and we haven't had that in a long time. It's like the Diet Coke thing. For me to drink a Coke Zero where I haven't had a Coke Zero in 60 days, well, of course it's going it to be different. excessively sweet. Well, my body's not used to having the amount of allulose that we ate yesterday. But I came home yesterday very bloated. The bloating oh, has yeah. gone away. The scale is where it's supposed to be. My scale has not come down. I got on the scale this morning and it's registering four pounds heavier. Okay. Well, I didn't eat four pounds of food yesterday. But we broke our own rule that we told everybody. Do Don't. not weigh the day before Thanksgiving. Yep. Do not weigh on Thanksgiving and do not weigh the day after Thanksgiving. So we broke our rule. We did. But I'm not upset. I know. I'm going to toss that up to we were testing ourselves. There you go. Now, we did not eat any vegetables yesterday. Not a one. And now, not because we were like, we're not having vegetables. I was just like, I want meat. I was but just drinking cranberry sauce, apparently. Michelle's mom made the most gorgeous, fresh green beans. Beautiful. And I looked at it and I was just like, you know... I think I just want to eat a bunch of meat and cranberry sauce. Well, it was beautiful. Everything was homemade. Mm -hmm. Michelle did an incredible job. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything was made from scratch, including the pies. And I thought, if we can walk away and not eat these gorgeous pies when they're homemade, yep. right? Because I can usually walk away from something that's store-bought, but... When you see something beautiful and homemade, you're like, okay, I need to just have that because it's just today and everything. Right. So I thought, well, this is incredible if I can actually walk away from this because everything was absolutely beautiful. And we went in there going, you know what? We're going to eat what we feel like eating within keto. I mean, and obviously we're at a non-keto household, but we brought stuff with us. But it, it, there was nothing about like going in there and saying that like, we're only eating turkey. It was whatever we felt like. I felt like having some stuffing. I brought some of our own. We both felt like eating a tremendous amount of cranberry sauce because the day was more about being with our family than it was about food. So if you went off plan, number one, please don't get on the scale. You know, if, if this is three days later when you see this. Stay away from the scale yeah. for a few days. Yeah, it won't. Go back and think about the memories that you had for Thanksgiving because that was the most important thing. That was the thing that we want to keep a record of. Mm -hmm. All of the laughter, all of the all of the fun, all of the joy. I mean, 
the Caleb fact, left his shoes. The fact that Caleb, I mean, we laughed about that the whole way home, that it was like, you know you feel comfortable at somebody's house when you take your shoes off and leave them there. <laughs> like, I mean, it was just a really fun day. I love getting to hang out with Michelle's parents too mm -hmm. because, you know, it was just relaxed, you know, when it's like in, when, when they were in wedding mode and stuff, you know, everybody right. is just like, you know, we're, everybody's going, but this was just a relaxed, beautiful day and it was just fun to catch up. Well, speaking of memories, let's head out the door and go make some Black Friday 2021 memories. I was just going to say one thing we forgot to mention. One of the reasons we probably don't feel amazing today. We took no electrolytes. Neither yesterday. one of us took any electrolytes yesterday. And we also drank probably a quarter of amount of water that we normally drink. I know. I, well, I was kind of happy that we didn't drink soda. We didn't drink right. any diet soda, which I thought I, I was prepared to. Right. But then I just wanted water. I think that, you know... With all the food, it was just like, you know, you're it's a heavy meal, so you're... And when you're in somebody else's house, you kind of feel awkward constantly going, like, let me have another bottle of water. Let me have another bottle of water. Right. Let me have another bottle of water. Yeah. So, you know, they go through a lot of water. I'm almost considering looking for a Berkey today. I was just thinking about that. I was thinking, that. like, we do actually have a link and a discount coupon for Berkey. It's 7% off, but it's Black Friday, so normally the coupons don't apply to Berkey's, but we bought our Berkey on Black Friday... We bought the one for the RV on Black Friday. Yeah. And I was thinking about getting them one for Christmas because they do drink a tremendous amount of water. Which is good. And I'd rather my children not constantly be drinking out of plastic bottles. Yeah. We wanted to stop in the Nike store because, of course, Caleb lost his shoes yesterday and we were going to get some new shoes. But look at this line. It goes all the way down a hallway, like a corridor, wraps all the way around the store. And that's just to get in, not what's inside of the store already. Thanks to Dr. Berry and beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, back in a 31, baby. All right, we thankfully pre-ordered our creamies and we have our creamies here. We've for, got three of them. We got three of them. Two of them are family gifts. I hope our family's not watching. And one of them we're gonna be giving away. So make sure that you're watching our videos during the 12 days of keto because we are gonna be giving away one of these creamies and we have it in hand. And I'm glad we pre-ordered because the manager said that they are completely sold out and we were able to just pick ours up today because we ordered them before Black Friday. Um, also, super awesome Bed Bath & Beyond, they price adjusted the creamy that I purchased for Joe. So we were able to get $36 back and I thought that that was extreme customer service. We have the best Thanksgiving leftovers and it's not turkey and it's not even stuffing, although your stuffing was great. It's the cranberry cranberry sauce. So we are home from shopping. We had a great time. We got crazy. some really good deals. The mall, the first mall we went to was packed. We went to Sawgrass Mills. We knew better. The outlet mall. Yeah. So that was really packed. The second mall we went to was pretty dead, but I was able to get some more underwear with my underwear fund at 50% off. Got underwear. a couple pairs of jeans. Got a lot of our Christmas presents done for people. And now we're gonna eat. And uh, right now, I I'm, I'm kinda wanna keep it simple. Couple of eggs, good. some of our homemade bacon, a piece of the Maria Emmerich bread with a little bit of butter and then topping it with some cranberry sauce. These eggs are perfect. Mmm. So good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delicious. So overall, it was a really good day. It was a nice relaxing day with each other. I think we're gonna go watch a movie and then we'll close this out in a little while, right? Good morning. It is Saturday morning, about seven o'clock in the morning. Getting ready to get started with the day. Already got the coffee going over there. And uh, Anthony and I have two houses we need to cut because we had Thanksgiving and then of course we had Black Friday shopping. Uh, so we're gonna go cut those, but before we get started with our day, I've got our prime rib roast here. So what I did with the prime rib roast is I covered the entire thing in a bunch of Redmond salt. And now we're gonna go put it on the smoker, let it smoke on low for, I don't know, a couple of hours, probably till I get home from cutting. Then we're gonna stick it in the sous vide for about five hours and have the most delicious prime rib roast. 
Wow, this thing looks delicious. I cannot wait to get this thing going. So we had it covered in salt yesterday and you can see how it started like drying out a little bit. That's a good thing. That's gonna make this nice and tender. We had it dry burning for 24 hours. So we're gonna go stick this on the smoker now. Good morning. Good morning. My day started off really good. Okay. Because I put a prime rib roast on the smoker, which well, we will be eating for dinner. That is later. a good day. And Even it quickly pork. turned to, are you kidding me? Like. Wait, what? Well, I just made us, I, I'm not super hungry, but I want a little something because we didn't eat a whole lot yesterday. No. And we are eating a giant prime rib today because we're going to eat that whole thing. <laughs> and it's about three and a half pounds before cooking. So I'm having two eggs. Rachel's got two eggs and a few of the, because I had saved you some of the, you know, pork belly bacon ends. That's love right there. So I saved them for you before going up to John's because I knew they would go. Yeah. That everybody would eat them you all. You held them back for the whole family for me. Thanks for that. So I held them back for you. So I went to dump the bacon grease out of the back of the Blackstone, the E Blackstone, right. you know, because we made a bunch of bacon yesterday and yeah. the day before. So the bacon grease would collect in the back. And then now that the grill was heating back up, I'm like, I'm going to go pour it into my handy dandy bacon grease can. Mm -hmm. And I opened up the can and I poured, and I started to pour the bacon grease in there. And I, I was like, the screen on the top looks awfully clean. Your son cleaned it, dumped all my bacon grease. Aww. Yeah. He's not my son when he does something wrong. He's Rachel's son. Mm -hmm. When they do something good, they're my children. Is that and do you do that in your house? Vice versa. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry, honey. This thing was half full of bacon grease. Maybe you poured it somewhere else and you're gonna get it for Christmas. Yeah, I was planning on pouring that bacon grease over the top of the prime rib to give it like a nice flavor. But That's no more happening. bacon grease. It's just that thing. It's you know, it's it's why I don't have great cast iron because I say Please don't wash my cast iron. Just take a rag and wipe it out. Use a little bit of salt. But no, everybody likes to put soap on it. It's trying to find that balance between like this, this dirtiness is forwarding our goals versus <laughs> when I see something dirty, I'm supposed to clean it. <laughs> Like it, bacon grease does not look like something clean and wonderful that you'd be like, I need to save that and keep that in my house. So what would have happened when you were a child, if you would have put your hand into your grandmother's and like take grease it? container? She was an angel on earth though. I'm telling you. Don't, she had to have gotten upset though. She Well, I wouldn't have known it because I was the grandbaby. Maybe the kids would have gotten, right. you know, in trouble, but... The grandbabies, you but, know. You know, that that grease, that's that's precious. Mm -hmm. It's precious. I've been saving up that grease, cooking bacon in Curating my house, it. making the house smell like bacon, which not isn't always a good thing. You know? Not first thing in the morning. Bacon smell just infiltrates, right? That's why we generally like to cook bacon outside. It gets into everything. Now, with the electric Blackstone... It, it is helps. nice because it doesn't splatter it everywhere. Really it's helps. just on that glass top. So I do enjoy that. People do keep asking, like, what is that grill? I'll leave a link for it down below. The only place I know that you can get it legitimately. I've seen it other places. But so far as I know, right now, the only place to really get it legitimately is through Walmart. It's $117. We absolutely love it. That's why we I gave two of them it. away during the 11 on 11. And we just got one for someone as a Christmas yeah. present. Because it is... It is a game changer in the house. It's my favorite. Well, you don't have to turn on your stove um, for whatever that's worth. But you also don't have to go dirty a frying pan. It literally cleans up with wiping with a rag. Mm -hmm. you, there, even though the top comes off and you can go wash it, as, as much cooking as we do, you just haven't needed to. Nothing sticks on there. I mean, I cook scrambled eggs. And you know what it's like to cook scrambled yeah. eggs in a pan. Scrambled eggs for the Maria Emmerich egg pudding with no butter. 
and it just you just come in and take a wet rag and wipe it's it really nice and it's great so on the docket for today uh anthony and i have two houses that need to be cut because they couldn't be cut on wednesday and then obviously a thursday and black friday was our shopping day yes which I had so much fun, by the way. I had such a great time. It was a nice little date day. It was a great date day, and we had the luxury of um, being able to duck out when the mall got just, like, too much for us. Yeah. You know, there wasn't any... I mean, we were reached that, you know, age where you're like, okay, we don't really need this. We'll be fine. I, I will pay a little bit extra if I have to, or they can live without it. Like, right. none of, you know, whereas when we were young parents and your kid said they just wanted a, you know, what was it, the BB gun from A Christmas Story, and you're right. like, oh my goodness. Or it reminds me of that, um, was it Jingle All the Way, the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he's trying to find that action figure? Mm -hmm. I totally sympathize with that gentleman because when your kid says, well, this is just all I want for Christmas. And our kids were pretty awesome when not, with not handing back like the Toys R Us catalog with everything circled, right? They wanted, you know, a certain one thing or two things. Right. So when they said that this is what they wanted, you you just wanted to make that happen. And right. it was like, however many, you know, miles we've got to put on the car or time we have to spend in the mall. We're going to like try to make that happen if we, if it at all possible, you know? Right. But we're past that now. Mm -hmm. Now they're adults. It's like, okay, if you want it that bad, you'll get it yourself or, you know, you understand mommy tried and, and, but we're not going to, we can't stay in this mall. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas movies, I wanted to mention that if you like that movie, A Christmas Story, we watched a movie that just got released on HBO. Yes, 8-Bit Christmas. It's called 8-Bit Christmas with Neil Patrick Harris. Mm -hmm. But it's more of a modern day version of A Christmas Story yeah. without giving too much away. Yes. Basically, Neil Patrick Harris spends the movie narrating as where he's supposed to be telling a story to his daughter. But it's really him as a child. So it's very much like a Christmas story. But it's like the 80s. Only it's the 80s and his dream like toy that he wanted was in the, the Nintendo. BB gun. And I, it reminded me of a kid. But if you just want a good fun Christmas movie. That was really nice. That was a fun movie. And you know now that we're past Thanksgiving we can get into Christmas movies. And uh, I don't know. There's a bunch I actually just ordered you another movie because, of course, iTunes, Black Friday, great sales, got all three Mummy movies for $12.99. I love the Mummy movies. I'm not thrilled about the third one because I don't like it when they replace the mom. Don't replace my mom, right? <laughs> but I did get you Four Christmases because that was a Christmas I movie we didn't have. Movie. And I know you love that one. And then, of course, we have to watch A Santa Claus and we have to watch... You know, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's a must-have. What is the must-have Christmas movie? Christmas with the Cranks. That's definitely I Joe's. love that movie. He loves Christmas with the Cranks, and I love um, National Lampoon's mm -hmm. Christmas um, Vacation. Yeah. And um, I also usually like to watch It's a Wonderful Life somewhere yep. in there. I yep. inherited that from my mom. I do like a Christmas story, but what is your favorite Christmas movie that you have to watch over and over again? So we're going to go cut two houses. I'm going to come home. You and I have to film Keto on the Couch because I need to get it edited because, again, um, when you guys are seeing this, this this week, we are going to be camping, so that means there's no daily vlogs. So I want to make sure we have stuff, and Monday's Keto on the Couch, of course, is going to be you know, pre-recorded because we're going to be camping. Mm -hmm. We'll actually be driving when Keto on the Couch happens. Yeah. So you'll still be able to be in the premiere for that, which so I'm excited about So speaking of camping, that. part of my day today will be preparing us to camp. Okay. And then tonight, prime rib roast. The only other thing that we need to do before we leave on Monday is we do need to empty out the old freezer, the smaller freezer. Get that emptied out and wipe it out, and I want to get it turned on oh, so yeah. that it's nice and cold when we get home 
because we're picking up our complete share of beef. Okay, this is cool even for me. I was in the middle of cleaning and all of a sudden the oven turned on, which kind of weirded me out. But then I got a call from Joe that said, go get the meat out of the smoker and put it in the Inova oven and it's ready to go. So I kind of love that he can set the temperature remotely and I can just put the meat in there. Okay, so let's see how the meat looks. Oh, wow. It's looking incredible. So I'm just gonna move this from out here into the oven. All right, cool, my work is done. One of the things I love about my Innova oven and my Rectech is I get to control it remotely. So I can turn it on, I can turn it off, I can monitor temperatures. And also with the meter app and the meter probes, that's what I'm using right now because I was gonna transfer back and forth and that allows me to check the temperature of the meat. So I was able to see on the meter app that, hey, my roast is ready to get transferred over. It's been smoking to get some of that flavor. I called Rachel, I said, hey, I just need you to move it over from the you know Rectech over to the Innova oven. I've preheated the Innova oven. It's set up on sous vide mode. And then when I get home, I can just stick the probe for the sous vide itself into the meat. <laughs> what are you wearing? Is, is that your cleaning ears? Oh no, I found it while I was cleaning under the bed. I wonder what happened to it, but yeah. So I'm just like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks for videoing this, P.S. Uh, are you about done? Cause I'm done pulling comments. It's time to film get Keto the on the couch. And the faster we can get that done, the faster we can have prime rib because it's close to being done. All we have to do is sear it. But the cool thing about the sous vide is we can just leave it at 132 degrees and it'll keep like at that temperature without overcooking. But the faster we can do keto on the couch, the faster you can have prime rib. Dude, we've got to record keto on the couch and you're chewing. But these things are calling my name. You haven't tried these. This is a chocolate one. I haven't tried the chocolate. You gotta take a little bite. Is it supposed to be a little bite? Cause I took a big one. Mmm. Cocoa Krispies. It is Cocoa Krispies. Is that not amazing? I think, I don't know. I thought I liked the peanut butter one the best, but I really like this flavor. Mm. We'll be saving this for later. Okay, roast is up to temperature. It's at 134 degrees internal temperature. We have the sous vide raising up to 475 so that we can sear it. We're gonna prepare it for the searing and I have an egg white here that I've just kind of beaten up and I'm gonna coat the entire outside of it and then put a little bit of Redmond's on. This is just gonna help my Redmond to stick to it. Give it a nice little sear on there. Then we're gonna take the Redmond's organic garlic pepper and put some along the whole outside. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. I just like really, really like this Redmond. Okay, 476 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. We have it on the convection setting. And this is just gonna be five or six minutes. I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. <laughs> this looks so beautiful. I mean, just look at it, it's perfection. Does that look amazing? It really does. How much do you want? All of it, do <sighs> I have to share it with you? Let's see how we did. You're gonna get it from the angle over here. How big of a piece do you want? A big one. Looking good. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Look at that. That is just perfect. I'm going to go to the other end. Mm, All the way through. Gorgeous. Wow. Okay, so this piece is yours and this piece is mine. <laughs> what do you think? That seems fair. Actually, we're gonna eat a piece and then we can have some more later on. We'll just reheat it in the Anova oven. Who needs Texas Roadhouse? Seriously, it's Texas Roadhouse over here. So, and here's the thing. So each one of these, I, well, I paid for the entire roast. I paid 50 bucks. It was actually a little bit, I think it was like $40 by the time the coupons and stuff applied. We have enough for us to both have another one. The cooked, what we have cooked, you know, when you go to Texas Roadhouse, you order a 20 ounce, but. But it's before. Yeah, so the cooked one that's sitting here on our plate, 
this is 13 ounces. Wow, good job. So you got a nice piece of prime rib here. But if you go and we always get the 20 ounce prime rib when we go to Texas Roadhouse. Mm. Well, it's like 30 bucks. So we have enough Each. for another one later on today. And oh, wow. we're spending less money. You got to top that off with a oh, little bit yeah. of the Redmond smoked salt. Mm. Oh, wow. How is it? Is it meat candy? It is absolutely perfectly cooked. Perfect. You know what's kind of funny though? Super tender. So if you look at these two, so if you look at mine, uh -huh. and you look at yours, it looks like you have a bigger piece. I'm weighted out. They're both like 13.1, 13.2 ounces. Isn't that funny? So, okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I was gonna dink it, but. Mmm. Mmm. That smoked salt is really good. The smoked salt, and then you got that little bit of a smoke ring around mm. the outside with all that flavor, like right on the edge. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. What a treat. Well, man. One of the reasons we never do prime rib at home is number one, prime rib roasts are expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, you know, usually if you get a prime rib roast at Costco, it's normally like $19 a pound for prime. It, a lot of times when we do want to do it, we're going to do mm -hmm. choice because the choice is like $14 a pound. And the problem is, is the minimum that they all have is like 3.8 to 6.5 pound, 6 pounds. That's the minimum size. And the problem is, is you really can't reheat prime rib. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a one and done thing. And since most of the time we're the only ones who's going to eat the beef because either A, the boys aren't home or B, I don't want to share my steak with them. Mm. We don't usually, we just usually go out, right, to go to Texas Roadhouse because then we don't have to worry about leftovers. But with the Innova oven, we can put this in, we have it in a glass storage jar and then later on when we want to eat, yeah. I'm just going to put it in the Innova we, oven. You can do this with a regular sous vide. You do not need no. to have the Innova oven. The Innova the oven sous -vide. makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to put a water bath and stuff. But basically just put it in there or if you're going to just use a sous vide. And I just never did it because it's a hassle pulling out the, the you know bucket for the water and the silicone bag and all that. Put it in your silicone bag. Put it in the Innova oven. The bath. And oh, the dishwasher's done. And then after that, just set it to the temperature that you would want the meat. Like I would, I usually put it for a reheat to like 120 degrees, let it run for an hour. Or if you're using the oven with the temperature probe up to 120 degrees, and then you're not going to overcook it. You're not going to mm. stick it in the microwave and get that disgusting microwave steak. It's just going to bring it back to perfection. You're enjoying that, aren't you? I'm going to be done my, with mine by the time you get your first bite. I had a bite. So... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat, and then we need to go to BJ's to get some camping supplies. Yay! I'm gonna get, we're gonna try to keep it super easy. So we're gonna get some, a bunch of bacon, lots of bacon, like 10 pounds of bacon, right? And then we're gonna, even the boys aren't gonna complain about bacon. Oh no. And then we're gonna get a bunch of frozen burgers, and there's a couple other things we need. Like, I want to get some more. They have, for Black Friday, they have those glass storage containers with a lock and lock lid. Those are really nice. And we're really shifting away from all the plastic and just go in a glass. So we'll check in with you guys later. What did you do? This is something that you cannot do at Texas Roadhouse, and that is cut off the little fatty pieces and go throw them in your air fryer to make them even more like meat candy. Look at that. They don't let you do this at Texas Roadhouse. Oh, two ounces. Why do I keep saying two ounces? Are you ready to go to BJ's? Yes, I'm just watching this film of us doing like the ice chips and I keep saying two ounces, <laughs> no matter what. It's sometimes you just get something in your brain and you can't like unthink it. I know you look like you're like in a food coma, but if we're gonna go to BJ's, let's go. Okay. I thought this was an in and out trip. It's all the fleeces though, all the soft fleeces. Like how warm do we want it? We're supposed to be getting ready for a camping, you know, trip. You know, know. like in and out, in I and know. out, baby. You might want this for a camping trip. Man, I'm never gonna get out of here. Every table is fleece. We live in Florida. Why is there so much fleece? But I want to be cozy. More fleece. Look at all of these pajama sets though. 
They're super cheap. Bacon. We need lots of bacon. Everybody should get their own package, I think. Do not tell me it is too expensive to do keto. This right here is $10. $10, it's 49 cents a pound for fresh turkey. Back from BJ's. Back in the saddle again. You know, Get some I fun stuff. Realize that that BJ's, there's no dicks across the street. It's good. It's on its way. <laughs> Don't you worry. They, it can't stand the way it is without the dicks somewhere around there. There's always a dicks by BJ's. Oh my gosh, you're so bad. Oh wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, so I made some. Maria Emmerich egg pudding. Okay. But instead of the cocoa powder, I used raspberry cheesecake keto chow. Now I'm going to say that the color of this is off pudding. It is off pudding. Because this is the older raspberry cheesecake and it doesn't turn pink. It turns like a gray. It turns like gray. That's all right. Now I also didn't add any extra sweetener or anything like that. So I wanted to see what you think. I was thinking about bringing some on our camping trip, like making some Maria Emmerich pudding and bringing, because then the kids are going to enjoy their treats. Then we can have some treats. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. Is that not? That is absolutely delicious. It's got that little bit of a raspberry cheesecake flavor in there. Also, mm. I used only a quarter of a cup of Swerve and then a few drops of liquid sucralose. I'm about to blow your mind. You know what that tastes like? What? Jello pudding pops. Like the old Jello pudding pops. It is really. Good. I am enjoying using the keto chow yeah. instead of cocoa powder. Me Plus, too. you can get all kinds of flavors. I also find it's got a thicker consistency. And what's cool about wow. this is, first of all, when you use the scrambled eggs, there's no farty smell. Thank you right. very much, Chris Bear. That makes life a lot better. Um, but. It's low total carb, especially when you start cutting down the amount of swerve. It's just very low in total carb. Um, it's like a guilt-free You really can't kind of enjoy dessert. it. I really am enjoying it. And that. how many drops of sucralose are you using? I put a quarter of a cup. I'm always messing with it. Mm -hmm. So I put a quarter of a cup of swerve. Normally you use a half a cup. Aww. Actually, it was probably even a little bit less because I didn't even fill the quarter of a cup. We've done it with zero swerve, right? We've done it with just zero. And then I had eight drops of the liquid sucralose. Oh, so first you had the, the swerve. Right. And then you Normally had the recipe calls for a half a cup. So oh, I'm cutting okay. that in half and then I, but we've made it with none at all. And it was good. And it tasted just as good. As far as how much of the sucralose do I have, it kind of goes different with every flavor. That's okay. It, it goes different with every flavor. So what I do is I mix it all up. I get it nice and smooth. And then I do a little taste test. And I go, does it need any more sweetener? You can't do that when it's the farty eggs. No, you cannot do that. But that allows me to, because, you know, some flavors maybe need a little bit more sweetness than other flavors. Mm -hmm. You know, something like a key lime, I don't necessarily need a whole bunch of extra sweetener because I want the tartness of the key lime. Right. Other flavors like the raspberry cheesecake may need a little bit more. It just depends on what you're looking for. You Everything should be adjusted to taste. Let's make it with pistachio. Oh, we can. Oh, yeah. Pistachio pudding used to be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So we sh you want to make some up and bring it with us on the trip? I think Mom we just love got it. a whole bunch of these because, again, we're switching the plastic uh, from plastic to glass. And these were, we're making worse choices. What was it? Twenty eight dollars for like eighteen pieces it was at nice. BJ's, and there's a bunch of different sizes. This is the smallest size. I think there's three of these, and then there's more in here, and there's another one inside. So, oh, actually, I guess that's the small size inside of there. But it's perfect, so we can make up a batch of pudding. I'm also thinking about because we do have a regular freezer in there or a twelve volt freezer. I was thinking about putting together four or five creamies. Bring in the creamy machine. What a us. nice surprise. Because we can just, you know, like do one creamy between the two of us or just one yeah. creamy between the three of us because we have your mom as well. Mm -hmm. And hey, we can always make some more keto chow in the RV. We do have a Ninja. And it will you know, freeze. We do have butter. In that and freezer. Because we, we do have a 12 volt compressor fridge, it will freeze it completely. Big difference. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. So... I'm excited. We, BJ's did not have any frozen hamburgers. The only ones they had were Bubba burgers. I thought that was wild. So I think we have a box of your favorite, favorite ones in Bring our freezer. Bring that with us. 
We may have a sleeve of burgers. Again, we're trying to empty out the freezer anyway. And then worst case, when we get up there, we'll stop at a Sam's Club or something like that. We're not going to another planet. How much fleece did you buy? We bought pajama pants. Mm -hmm. And actually, you were the one that tipped the scales with the fleece because you bought a Christmas jacket. Whose idea was that? Mine. <laughs> it was for you. It's super, super cute, though. You needed it. Okay. With that being said, we are going to end the vlog here. Honestly, other than... Oh, by the way, we're having a piece of Maria Emmerich bread with um, a half a tablespoon of butter on it. And then, hey, the cranberry sauce. You can't I'm go to waste. It. We need we need to use it up. I love this stuff so much. So that's what we're having. Other than that, I'm not like super hungry. Maybe a little later, I may have a little bit of egg pudding. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But right now, like that steak just filled me up. So we'll probably eat that steak for dip for lunch. I think tomorrow. it'll be like tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just heat it up in the sous vide oven and uh, go from there. Uh, we're not gonna vlog tomorrow. So we'll probably record a couple of snippets, but that'll be for the vlog that'll go up at the end yeah. of the week. Uh, but tomorrow is church day, and what I really want to do is make Sundays a non-vlog day, unless there's something special happening. I, I just want that to be our church day and the afternoon for us to be able to relax and enjoy each other. You know, what's the point in, in getting all of this weight off and getting healthy if we don't enjoy each other? Get out and enjoy the day. So yeah, I'll probably record a couple things of what we're doing as we pack things up, but that'll be in the later on. I was going to say, as much as we say like enjoying stuff, it's probably going to be a lot of packing. Yeah. <laughs> If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we buy more fleece for Joe, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.